Amina, welcome to Diddle. Thank you, Paige. I'm Thanks so for excited. Me. Thank you for being but here. But I'm glad you said, because I was like, what is this acronym that I don't yeah. know? Yeah, so D-I-T-L. Okay. Day in I'm not the Gen life. Z, so I don't know these acronyms. I'm not either. And W-R-M, honestly, like all this stuff. Yeah. My okay. husband, we were in the car talking about this podcast that I wanted to do. And this like day in the life thing and my husband said diddle and I was like what's diddle what do you like what's this but weird did, word did he invent it or is that a thing I don't know I mean I think he invented at least for me and what I'm gonna go with here on the podcast okay. is that he to me put like day in the life into an acronym where I hadn't really seen diddle anywhere before and now I feel like I'm seeing it more you're gonna have to so, ask him if yeah. he like just like said that, yeah, or he's like secretly like scrolling through like Gen Z like TikTok yeah. things, and it's like a big thing, and he no. just discovered it through him. I'll report back to you. Um, so on Diddle, we okay. always start at the beginning of your day, okay. and um, tell us about your morning and how your day starts. So the beginning, of, I'm glad we're starting there because it's actually my favorite part of the day. And I'm probably going to have a really disappointing answer because I think a lot of a lot of like routine and morning questions to CEOs or allegedly high functioning people like you expect to be given like the secret to like, how do you do it all? And like, how do you do it? And like the secret is like, I don't. (laughs) And uh, I found that, you know, for me, the mornings are actually about getting what's more most important to me out of the way. And I, I don't mean out of the way as in like to get it over with, as in to make sure I do the most mm-hmm. important thing because later on the day gets away from me. And to me the most important thing is my family. So to me the mornings are actually really slow. I'm not like getting up at five and running a marathon and having a juice cleanse and like I'm not doing any of that. I'm actually doing the opposite of that. So I get up around 5.45, 6 a.m. Um, and my son, who'll be two in a couple months, so we're kind of new to this still, it feels like, um, he gets up around about an hour after that. Okay. So I get an hour of like just quiet time with me and my husband. So first thing I do, I jump out of bed. I open our doors to our back and front yard because we have three dogs, and so they need to like let out, be let <laughs> out. So that's the first thing I do. And then I actually jump back in bed and I get on my phone. I'm sorry, it's like you're not supposed to do that, I think, but like that's what I do. Um, Read the news, look at the calendar for the day ahead, just so like mentally I know like where do I have to be and who do I have to see and like do I have to brush my hair or not, like that kind of thing. And um, and like kind of hang out with my husband, right? And like get some water. I actually love to have like hot water with lemon Mm -hmm. or like apple cider vinegar. I think I read that eons ago. I don't even know if it's good for you or not, but like (laughs) that's what I do. Um, And then when my son wakes up uh, around 6.45, we super quickly get him changed and we go for a morning stroll and we go to the coffee shop. Uh, And we try to do that every morning and it's really sacred for me. So my husband and my son and I, and it's a mile walk Mm -hmm. each way. So it's like a decent walk, I think. And, you know, we live in L.A., so the weather's amazing, so we don't have to worry about that. So we stroll over. We have our coffee there. My son makes a mess. We clean up the mess, and, like, we stroll back. And that whole thing takes, you know, an hour, an hour, 15 minutes. And then it's, like, the mad dash to start the day. So then it's, like, okay, I have 20 minutes to get ready, and I need to be in the car. And then that's, like shower slather creams on like try to look respectable like put an outfit on get in the car go okay but the first part of the morning for me is really slow and it's like it's me trying to embrace kind of that slow life and to make sure that i get that Mm -hmm. i get that from my husband and my son we have that time together because the rest of the day can go on till like 10 p.m and i don't want i want to make sure that we have that sacred time together yeah i think that that's such an incredible way to look at it and to also start your day. I'm um, a mom as well. I have two kids. And yeah, it's like that that morning connection mm-hmm. is so special. And I think it's also like I have an almost four-year-old and an almost one-year-old. And like 
the look on your kids' faces when they wake up and how excited they are. You know, I think about like as I've gotten older and like sometimes yeah. in the morning I wake up and I'm like not in the best mood and then I see my kids' faces it's and the best every thing in the world. time yeah. it's like they're seeing you for the first time yeah. and they're, they're like, oh, so you're happy. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 But it is so special. What's the coffee order at the coffee shop? Oh, same thing every morning. I'm an oat milk macchiato person. Uh, if you don't know what a macchiato is, I think it's the best form of coffee. It's two espresso, two espresso shots with a little bit of foam. So it's like somewhere between an espresso and a cappuccino. Uh-huh. Not as milky as a cappuccino and not as kind of acidic or strong yeah. as espresso. That In the little espresso cup, that's my... That's my drink. My husband is like a latte person. I don't know how someone consumes that much milk that early in the morning, but God bless him. It's me. Oh, are you? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm a latte know. person, but I wait till after I've eaten breakfast. Did you know that like in Europe, especially in Southern Europe, if you have anything milkier than a cappuccino, including a cappuccino, yeah. so cappuccino and latte and food, they think you're insane. Cause like that's supposed it. to be like kind of a meal. Yeah. I get it. I honestly so much milk. It's like so filling. I was in Austin this week and as a company once a month we do a coffee walk and so the whole team will go out and we'll go to a local coffee shop and I was in Austin during the Austin coffee walk and I was actually talking to some of the women on the team saying that I felt like a, a latte was too much milk for me. It's a but lot. But I need to figure out the in-between of like what's in between a latte and a cappuccino. There were, uh, is, is it a, there? No, it goes. So it goes. I don't, I don't know why I know this much about coffee. It goes espresso, macchiato, cortado, cappuccino. Oh, flat white. Oh. Latte. Okay. Maybe so I we should try that for you. Yes. Try a flat white. Okay. Thank you. You're this welcome. is honestly going to be life changing for my own diddle. You're welcome. Um, so yeah. Thank you, Amina. And then what about you come back home, you get showered. What is like the kind of division of responsibility in terms of like where you're going, where your husband's going, where your kid is? Like, how do you go from the mom mode to work mode? Yeah, it's it happens really fast. It's almost like, uh, yeah, it's like we we come home from our stroll after being caffeinated and having had this like really just slow, like relaxing morning. And then the second we get home, like, so we're lucky we have a nanny. Uh, it's like handoff. Mm-hmm. It's like my son's name is Ramsey. It's like, bye, Ramsey. Our nanny takes him. And then it's like a 25 minute transformation, you know, from <laughs> it's like it's like from like, you know, baseball cap and sweatpants and Birkenstocks to like hopefully looking like some semblance of a professional really fast. And and it's like each one is each person assumes their role. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's like my husband's off doing his own thing. He's you know he runs his own fund, so he has a whole bunch going on. And then I, like I have to get ready for the day, and my son is like off to do like you know go to the park or whatever. Yeah. He's so it's like everyone's just like uh, running in different directions. And where are you off to? The office. Okay. I'm an office person. I'm one of those. I'm a dinosaur. Um, so I love going to the office. Like I love it. Um, I go, so us as a company, PS as a company, we, we are a three day a week office culture, um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, for those of us that work at the corporate office, because obviously we have a lot of uh, on site employees. Um, they're, you know, they're, they're on different shifts depending on, on the day. But um, for the corporate team, which is about, you know, 40 or so people, we're Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is for everyone to be together. Mm -hmm. But I go Monday to Friday. I just love going to the office. There's so much clarity. And for me, that division of kind of this um, almost like, you know, double life I lead (laughs) is good, right? Of like, let's transform and let's go to the office and then focus on that. And that's what I'm doing. I'm not a parent. I'm not a wife in this moment. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, you're always that. But that's not the primary role. Now you're a CEO, you know? Yeah, it was so funny. I was on actually a call earlier. this woman is writing a book about millennial leaders and in the workplace specifically. And she was saying that she's been doing all these interviews um, for the book where so many millennial leaders feel that there is no distinction between home life and work life. Well, I think and, that's not, sorry to interrupt, but especially yeah. if you work from home. Yeah. I think that's really pronounced. Yes. Right? 
And I was saying that for myself that I found since having kids that there is a hundred percent a distinction of like showing up to work as Paige Port, you know, president of Dear Media Mm -hmm. and as a colleague and team member, you know, to 50 people. And then when I go home, it's I walk in that door and I'm not on the phone and Yes, I, of course, pick up my phone and I'm doing emails during bath time. And I but I really try not to be, you know, like I really try to put the mom, wife, you know, daughter hat on. Yeah. Um, and and separate the two when I can. Yeah. For me, it's I, I totally agree with you. For me, it's like a costume change. Yeah. Right. And my husband teases me. He's like. He's like, you have a different voice when you're working. So maybe it's more than just a costume change. Maybe it's like this completely different alter ego. I don't know. I Obviously, get it. I but like that distinction, I think, is is really, for me, is really helpful. Because I can be present and all in in whatever I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Like just like in the morning when I'm with my son and my husband, I'm not thinking about work. I'm not checking my emails. I'm not on my phone. I'm just in that moment. Right. And then when I go to work, I'm in that moment. Right. You're present for what mm-hmm. you need to be doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I always like laugh to myself and think that if I ran into any of my employees or like at like the on farmer's the market on Sunday. Oh, my God. And they would be like, oh, my God, did she even brush her hair this Oh, my morning? God. That's like- totally me. <laughs> I always think that. I'm like, if I run into uh, uh, a team member or a client. Yeah. Like, I would be embarrassed. Yeah. Um, what about in terms of like health, wellness, skincare, beauty, any sort of routines in the yeah. personal space? Yeah. So for, you know, I think I'm a generally just naturally a healthy person. is isn't like, I don't want to eat pizza every day. Like it just like, sure, it's delicious, but like you don't feel great after. So I think I have that kind of just self-correcting mechanism, which I'm very grateful for. Um, on the exercise front... Um, I've learned to take a similar approach to exercise. I used to be a masochist where it was like, no, you need to suffer through a workout and like kill yourself for it to work. And now it's really just like, it's almost like an act of gratitude and, and, and personal time. Right. So it's like, I look forward to, you know, working out not five to seven days a week, but three to four times a week. Mm -hmm. And and it'll be whatever I feel like in the moment. Sometimes I'll jump on the Peloton. Sometimes I'll go to gym and lift weights. Sometimes I'll go for a long walk. Sometimes I'll just stretch for 40 minutes. It's like really, you know, not to sound cheesy, but like listening to your body and what it needs. And I feel like that's worked way better for me personally than like I'm going to go do CrossFit six days a week yeah. and like and hate it and like be in pain. Uh, so it just comes down to this like idea of balance and like really listening to what you need. Um, That's on the health and wellness front. Um, Is there a time of day that you like to work out? So in that morning before my son wakes up, I will do it if I feel like that's what I feel like Mm -hmm. doing. So it's like, it's never planned. I'm not like I need to work out Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. It's like, I'll work out this week when I feel like it. And and it ends up happening like three-ish times a week. The weekends are usually when I do most of my working out, just because it's more leisurely. There's mm-hmm. less of a time crunch. Um, in terms of other health and wellness things, like I'm not, I'm gonna be like your least interesting person on this topic. I'm like, I've never taken supplements. I've had, I had an IV yesterday for the first time. I still don't really get it. <laughs> the person who gave it to me, she's amazing. She's like, you're gonna feel great tomorrow. I like, yeah, I you're feel like the same. Yeah. But like, sure why not i don't know i've like never really fallen for not fallen gotten into this stuff totally fair i'm like if i want vitamins like i'll have a salad Uh uh-huh or like if i'm lacking iron i'll just eat a steak (laughs) water consumption water consumption like could be better could be better but like yeah it's important i try to do that and i really just drink coffee water and like wine and champagne all you need right well I, what else do you need i'd throw in maybe like a little tequila but otherwise sure. i think that's if a I'm great in mexico list. Yeah. yeah i'll trade that okay for 